Hi, everyone. So I'm here with Mr. Ben, and uh, we are going to which I have no idea what it is, and he, I, I don't know anything about it. I tried to milk information out of him. Not tell me. <laughs> yeah, nothing doing. It is the, just to get her live reaction. I'll just have a message pop up. I'll ignore that. There's a the, the Google, the Gmail plugin in Chrome. So uh, with this trick, um. Ben, you, know you want me to click on my score now and... Yeah, okay, yeah, you might as well, you might as well. Yeah, um, okay. have you ever heard... Well, have I explained? Yeah, I'll explain it, then you can click on your square. Yeah, um... Okay. Have you ever heard of the term... Sometimes it's, like, related to the theatre. Have you ever heard of the term inner dialogue? Yes. Where you can, like, hear your own thoughts. Right, and so, and, uh, right, okay, so, and sometimes, you, and you've said, like, sometimes you can, like, be trapped in your own thoughts, and you're hearing your thoughts in your mind, in, in, a, in a monologue, in a, in a dialogue, in a monologue. So, with this tongue trick, now, uh, are you now clicked on your own square? Um, yes, I am now. Okay, okay. So, with this tongue trick... If you put your tongue, you sort of really lower it and put it really low down like that and close your mouth. Okay. Keep the tongue low down. And whilst your tongue is flat, I would like you to think, the try to think the following in your mind. Because a load of nonsense and won't work. Try to think it. This trick is a load of nonsense and won't work. I'm thinking about saying the words in my mind. Yeah, try to say the words in your mind. With your tongue pressed down at the bottom of your mouth. Can you do it? Is it difficult? Not particularly. I mean, I'm pressing hard. Does it doesn't make it harder to think? Um, like, tell me the science behind it. Like, I don't. I heard. Uh, I heard John Grinder talk about it, and like, I try to recite the out with when I try to do the alphabet. I think it's that people are used to. Uh, mouthing the words with their tongue there's like the connection between the tongue and the mind now with me if I deaden my tongue and then there's certain words that I can't really think in my mind like a b c like d d I find hard and the idea is that and also the Buddhists had this trick where if they could put the tongue towards the top of their mouth and it would sort of like quieten their mind and the idea is that it would prevent them from having this inner in a dialogue, in a monologue. Well, you know, um, okay, I'm going to click off your square. I don't know, like maybe other people watching this, if they want to give it a try and see, like I'll look it up after we get off of this and, and see if people, when, like they're thinking being cloudy when doing this, but maybe, and this is kind of a shitty poor excuse, but since I constantly have stuff like in my mouth, I'm constantly chewing on stuff. I've done this for years and years and years. So like, so you're insinuating that when someone has to think about something, they're like mouthing it almost. Well, it's, it's, it's almost like if you concentrate on your tongue is then it's actually harder to hear the words in your mind to actually have that inner dialogue. If you're like, Maybe even if you press your tongue against the bottom part of your mouth and feel it pressing there, then it's actually hard to hear the words in your mind. So the idea is that it can be a way to quieten the mind. 
That's really interesting. I will have to look into that a little bit more. Yeah, there might be a sort of like Buddhist tool trick. Uh, so this is like a lot of things that it's like with the eye accessing cues where it doesn't work all the while. It works uh, sometimes. Well, that's really interesting. Right. Thanks for sharing that. End of the hangout, folks. So ultimately, it is this trick. There's a load of nonsense and won't work. But let us see if. So comment below to see if it works. So I think it's like you try to lay the tongue at the bottom of your mouth and then if you like try to recite the alphabet and what I found with like certain words trying to hear them in my mind it's like, like D is hard to hear in my mind and H is hard. So it's almost as if words that when you speak require a lot of tongue action so to speak like D and right, H. Right, yeah, I know exactly. It's like hard to hear in your mind, and so. Well, considering the general like category these videos are under, I think we're getting at a lot of people who, like with the eye accessing cues and stuff like that, people watching this video might know a little bit about it, so they can give their feedback and comments below. Yep, that's it, folks. All right, thank you, guys. Bye.